And here, let's take a look at what we have coming up. It's the compound women's team competition as we are going to be shooting for bronze and for gold. And it's Canada versus Mexico in this one as we set the stage to get this competition underway in this afternoon program. Shooting for the bronze medal on target number two, the team of Mexico. Rosalia Dominguez, Brenda Marino, Linda Ochoa Anderson. And here come their opponents. Please welcome Team Canada. Representing Canada and shooting for the bronze medal. Fiona McLean, Madison Hart, Don Grosko. Twenty-four arrows shot under the supervision of World Archery Line judge uh, Jaring Stranby will be deciding. Which of these teams? All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the booth. I'm Greg, sitting alongside me, Crystal Govin, ranked number two in compound women's archery for many, many years in this discipline. Now switch over to Recurve by joining me in the booth, the two-time silver world silver medalist in the world championships. Crystal, welcome. Thanks, Greg. Happy to be here. So we're going to get right into shooting here for this bronze medal match: Mexico versus Canada. Mexico will start us off with the first three arrows. Uh, at nine, so 18 meters down range. They're shooting at a 10 ring in the yellow, the circle in the middle, about two centimeters in diameter. Bottom left part of your screen, there's a clock. Each team has 120 seconds to shoot six arrows total. And nine, Joy Anderson turned around taking a look at that. She thought that hit the 10 ring. Bit of a surprise. Clock management, clock management critical in team rounds, Crystal. Go down, nice and strong here. You hear those calls from the coaching box? We have the coaches mic'd up for you. Shot. Don Garasco with a fist pump after her shot. Nine. That's the heart of the nine. The team from Mexico will step back on the line as the clock continues to tick down. And the next three arrows. Under 
10. Nine. So we'll end up with a couple of uncharacteristic nines. With time winding down, you can see Mexico was left with two seconds on the clock. Strong finish. Shoot your shot. Our scoring that's called as a 10. Here. right now for the Mexican team. Nice deep breath. We got it. Just keep shooting your shot. So a little encouragement from the co coach. And Crystal, since you're sitting here right now, let's talk about team rounds. How many arrows are we shooting? How many ends are we shooting? What's the scoring like? So as you saw, they, each team will shoot three arrows. It rotates to the other team and then back for three arrows. So a total of six per end um, for t and then four ends of those six arrows for a possible 240 points total. So let's take a look at some of the replays and tell me what you think you're seeing here. Looks like pretty good shots for you. Yeah, I think the Mexican team, their shots looked very consistent against them. Um, the one thing I did see on the Canadian side, the last shooter, definitely a real quick shot, so probably a little bit of nerves there. All right, so good look at the Mexican team here. So we await the official scoring to roll in. As there is that nine asterisk. That means that. Oh, and they got it. Yep, they got it. So we have tie score. All square, 57, 57. Again, like Crystal said, it's six arrows per end, and we shoot four ends. It's cumulative scoring. Unlike if you watch recurve archery, where they have set point scoring system, this is just point for point. If we come to the end of that fourth end, and it's all tied up, then we go to a shoot off where all three archers can shoot closest to the middle or score wins. Score first and yep. then closest to the center. So we'll explain that if we have that particular situation. So arrows being pulled right now. Once judge indicates that Mexico will start first. And our first shooter will be Brenda Marino. Bien, bonito día. Perfecto. Lindy shot called as a 10 9 liner, so a 9 asterisk next to hers. Got 
Good strong shot from Ladocho Anderson. So Mexico right now with a 113, possibly a 114. Canada also has a nine asterisk arrow on the last arrow shot of their first three. A lot of English on that release. Strong shot, Don. Here. Lots of time. Strong shot. Keep an eye on that clock. Five, four, nine. She lets that one fly, and that's a nine. So two arrows right now in question for Canada, one for Mexico. Let's listen to see what the judge has to say. Target one. King, King. Nine. Ten, nine, nine. Okay, so they didn't get one of the calls. One of the calls was nine, the other one was a ten. So I'll take them to one fourteen. Nine. Nine, ten, ten, nine. Sounds like they got a 115 instead of a 113 on that one. Let's take a look at some replays here, Crystal. So we take a look at the shooters, their style, and the release. <laughs> you definitely saw she had to get that off quick and wasn't happy with it. With a beautiful follow through on that. Mm -hmm. Here's a look at the size of the target. So they're 18 meters downrange. The target size is 40 centimeters, and what they're shooting at is smaller than a United States quarter. It's two centimeters. So think about that. The diameter of the arrows are shooting 23s. I mean, it, it looks like a long way away, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Especially on center stage like this. So arrows are going to be pulled. And when it's all done and dusted, things got sorted out. We're all tied up one more time at 114 apiece. So each team dropping three points in that last end. So here we go into the third of four. Mexico will start again as they were the first team to shoot. As we stayed at a tie score, the first team to shoot will shoot first. And they get to shoot first because they were the higher seeded team. Nine. 
Bien, bonito 10. Bien, bonito 10. Uh, Mexico qualified in the third place position. Canada in the fifth place position. Seguimos con el codo. No, no, no. Ten, ten, ten. They have it listed as a nine asterisk, but it looked pretty good from where we were sitting. Looks like a good ten. Got it. It's all good. Strong. Beautiful. You got it, Don. Fiona McLean, 52 years old, in her eighth world archery match. Now we have Thon Grasco. Good yeah. job by Don, who hasn't been in a, cup, shot, in a match at this back. level since 2011. Good. In Salt Lake City, where they finished third in team competition. Beautiful. And <laughs> Madison Hart, 21 years old. Crystal, you're just shaking your head. Why? Because she just rips it, huh? Yeah, that that was another really quick one. second left on the clock. Linda got that one off. I think the arrow hit just as the buzzer was going off. Yeah, Linda's used to that, luckily, for her being in that last position. Crystal, Crystal that buzzer went off, and Linda didn't get that arrow off the time. What happens? That arrow would be scored as zero, and, her, and their highest scoring arrow would also be removed. Wow. That's a good shot from Linda Ochoa Anderson to get that one off. Canada, though, right now is absolutely shredding this target. You'll see Dawn hit that same hole multiple times. Wow! That was incredible! I mean, that's like a four second shot process, Crystal. Yeah, that was great. Wow! Love all around for the Canadians. What a shot, what a team effort. A perfect 60 score. And that end very well could be the difference in this match. So we'll wait to hear the one point difference in terms of really think that Linda Ochoa Anderson's first shot was a 10. Agree. It looked <laughs> like it's in there. So we're probably gonna see a 174 to 170 score heading into this final end. Now it is six arrows per end and anything can happen. There's no doubt about it. You we know. see the Canadian ladies are nice and loose. They're laughing. They're having a good time out there. Fun fact about this Mexican team, um, they actually, these exact three women shot together in 2014. They were the world champions at the indoor world championships in Nîmes, France in 2014. Took out actually my team. <laughs> that seemed painful for you to say. <laughs> of course it is. But of course, this 2018 World Archery Indoor Championships is, like I mentioned at the top of the program, it's once every two years to crown a world champion. 
and we are in the NFA Easton Yankton Archery Center, a spectacular place to come and shoot your bow if you're into archery, especially when the warmer weather rolls around. Three entire field courses, 28 targets per course, plenty of place to shoot your bow long distance. There's 3D archery you can shoot inside here where we are. You can go all the way back to 90 meters, about 100 yards you can shoot indoors. Yeah, just a great facility here. Yep, plus the NFA Museum is here. So you can, I didn't know that. Yeah, you can. You can check out all of old archery stuff if you're into that sort of thing. All right, so here we go. Down four points as it was confirmed by World Archery, by the officials. We're going to start things off. Mexico down by four. That's the start they needed. So Mexico not letting up in this one, putting a little pressure on Canada. These first couple errors are going to tell the story. Nine. You got it, Don. Strong shot. Year. Nine. You got it, Madison. Straight back. And nine. It's all good, ladies. Uh, Canada gives some points process. back to the Mexican team. On our scorecard, two points. Here comes Mexico. They're trying to pour it on. Salia Dominguez with a 10 9 liner. Again. And once again, Linda Ochoa Anderson steps up at full draw, only eight seconds on the clock now. Man, that, makes close my, one. that makes my heart pound every time she does that. But again, with that time crunch, that's part of the team competition. Canada needed that one for Here. sure. Nice finish. You got it. Ten. Beautiful. Go, Madison. Right now on the Great scoreboard, it's a six-point advantage with two. You got it. Nine asterisks, so two question marks for Mexico. Ten. Nine. It's all good. Right now it looks like Canada <laughs> has this as the winner. Let's hear what the officials nine, say. Nine, 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 ten, ten, nine. Target two. So confirmed for Canada. Ten. That three-point advantage. 
Oh, thank you. I don't know if you noticed, Greg, um, picked up on the coach's cam, on the coach's mic that end. One of the archers, I believe from Canada, mentioned she had a tough time seeing her level. So if you see the arrows going left and right, that's generally a good sign that their bubble's off a little bit, and it can be tricky in lighting conditions in these final venues. Explain a little bit further what you're talking about, a level bubble, what are those things? So with the compound bow on your site, scope level, you have a, a level just like level you'd use in your house and that allows you to make sure you're not torquing your bow, angling it left or right, you're holding it straight every time. So congratulations to the team from Canada as they will take the bronze medal here at the 2018 World Archery Indoor Championships in Yankton, South Dakota. And they will ultimately, at the end of the day, have a victory by two points over Mexico. Quite a display we saw, especially with the first half of that fourth end as Canada shot a 60 in the third end and then came out shooting 999. We thought the door was open for Mexico. But they were able to regroup and those two tens that they shot kept them in the lead. So some highlights from what we saw. Close competition and cheers all around for the bronze medal for the team from Canada.